Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. Before we get started, please consider subscribing to my channel and possibly becoming a Patreon. It would help me out a lot. Now this is an HTX video where I'm going to discuss global variables and flight modes. Now we can put flight modes onto our radio where the, if we're in a certain flight mode, we would have different variables, global variables. So in other words, we could have in one flight mode, we could have less aileron throw and then we're in, in an aerobatic mode we would have more throw. So this would happen automatically with switch modes on a switch and it would automatically change the settings. So I'm going to switch over to companion and show you this in companion and then we'll have a brief look on the radio. So let's switch over to companion first and then we'll have a look at the radio. Now I've opened up my flight mode model. If we go to flight modes, you can see I've got zero is horizon, one is disarm, two is angle, and mode 3 is acro. Now if we look down in the, G, the global variables here, I've set up aileron there at 100%. Now the way this is going to work is that we're going to set up an aileron uh, rate for each of the modes. So when we flick our mode switch, it will automatically adjust the amount of throw the aileron gets. So if we go back to the computer, so you can see if we're in horizon mode, we're getting 100%. Disarm it's going to show the same because it's going to copy the flight mode from mode zero. I'm sorry, my computer's working slowly. As you can see, if we go to angle, you can see now it's got its own value. So if we go down to the bottom here, you can see aileron own value at 70%. So when we're in angle mode, we'd only have 70% of the throw for the aileron. Now if we go to acro, and you can see here, that aim, the uh, throw now would only be 40%. Um, obviously, if you were in acro, normally that would be a lot high, but this is just for demonstration purposes. Now let's take a look at the inputs and mixes. So if we go to inputs, everything will be left as default there. But we go to mixes. Now all we need to do is in the aileron, on the aileron channel, or aileron mix, we need to now change the weight to be global variable one. So you would cl click here and go and change this from a value to be global variable one. So if we simulate the radio, okay, you can see the mode, the mode that we're in here. So, and we've got horizon mode. So let's take it back to the default. So we are disarmed. Now, if I put the you still, it's still showing on the screen that we're disarmed. So the way I set those up, it would always show dis, uh, disarmed when you're disarmed. When we go to, um, we, we arm, we can now see which, which mode we're in. Now let's bring up the channel monitors. Okay, if we have a look at the aileron now, you can see our aileron is only working 40% because that's what I've set acro up to. If we change our mode to angle mode, you'll see now the aileron has 70%. And if we go to horizon mode, we would have 100%. Now let's take a look at our radio. You can see I'm using the Zuro. So what we're going to do is hit the model button and then go across and we are going to come to the flight mode. You can see flight mode zero, one, two, and three are set up. So if we go and edit the horizon mode, you can see global variable one, it's got the name AIL, and it's got its own value of 100. So with all the flight modes, you would have to put a value into the zero mode because this will be copied across to all the other modes if you don't put its own value there. If we come back out, so if we go now to disarm you'll see this has got the flight mode from flight mode zero so it's a hundred now we go to where we do our first change so we're going to edit on edit angle and if we go down you can see global variable one is aileron but it's got its own value of 70 percent and the same goes for flight mode three acro and you can see where we go there is its own value of 40 and you can see that we've assigned the switches to the to the correct switch for our flight modes. Now then, let's move on to the next page, which is inputs. Now inputs are absolutely standard. 
they are default we don't do anything there but in mixes on the aileron channel you can see instead of saying 100% it says AIL which is our global variable so let's edit and you can see in the weight we have to pick the AIL option or the global variable we won't have a value in so that's the only change that you need to, to do to make uh, this work so if we come out and if I push this way now we can see we are let's arm Oops, that's arms okay now you can see we have we're in acro mode so we've only got a, a, a small amount of movement on our ailerons we go to angle you can see we've got more and we go to horizon and we've got full aileron deflection so there we go that shows you how we can use flight modes obviously the flight modes will help you when you look at the radio you can see whether you're armed or not so you can just have a visual cue to the cue to show you that you're not armed so for, for safety and with the global variables of course you can put one variable in one global variable setup and then go and use that in any of the mixes on your radio so you don't have to repeat that you'll just pick up global variable one global variable one and so on well i hope you found this video useful if you did please give it a thumbs up and if you didn't give it a thumbs down and if you have any comments or questions please leave them in the comment section below because i'd love to hear from you and if you have any questions uh, that, or things you'd like to ask me about htx please uh, feel free to email me thanks for watching happy flying bye for now Thank you.